What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Welcome to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're gonna talk about why if you have a huge chest, you probably can't fight. <laughs> okay, so I wanna tell you guys a little story about myself. Uh, personally, I at one point, I was working out my chest a lot and I went up to about maybe 198 pounds. So right now I'm 156 and when I was that weight, and then I started training uh, in martial arts, specifically striking, I've noticed that I had a hard time with my guard. So what do I mean by that? I couldn't close it properly. So in boxing, you want to keep your forearms vertical like this, right? And you want to have this ability here. I couldn't do that. My arms were like this for the most part. And it was, it was hard for me to keep it like this. It was a struggle. And I couldn't even close it. Now I can because I stopped training my chest. So the way I look at it now is that the chest itself, it's kind of a useless muscle. It's good for pushing, right? It helps in the, the pushing uh, movement. And it's also made to adduct like this. So basically to like squeeze. You don't you don't need all all of it. Uh, you don't need that all that much. Like you don't need that much power in that um, in that area, right? So what I'm saying is that it's not to not work out your chest, but don't you don't need to overdo it because if you do overdo it, what happens is that if it gets in the way of uh, mobility, okay, and your ability to basically close your guard like this and to have and to and the ease of keeping your farms down straight like this, then it's not, it's not worth it in my opinion, especially if you're a martial artist. Now I know it looks good and you can have a very good looking chest, but that can be functional at the same time. Um, and listen, there, there are guys out there who have naturally, they have good genetics. So they'll work out, they'll do a couple of pushups and they'll have like a crazy ass chest. Um, and that's genetic, of course. And then from there, well, they would have to work a little bit on their mobility so that they, they're able to, you know, bring this towards the inside here, right? To do this and to keep it here with, uh, with not too many problems because this is going to make you uh, better defensively and it's going to help you with your, your striking, your boxing. So that's why I don't suggest um, working, like, uh, working that hard to get such huge chest just because, you know, it looks good because it actually won't do anything for you. Now, of course, I'm talking about a huge chest, you know, like we have to be clear on one thing. When I mean a big chest, I mean like a bodybuilding chest, like a chest that you guys saw on the thumbnail where it's like popping from all sides. It's 3D. It's huge. You know, like it's really, it's big. It's really big. So those are the kind of chests that I'm talking about. So, and, and here's another little uh, side note too, is that if you, if you see a guy who, who that's all he does, like he, he's huge. That usually means that he spends all his time in a gym. And if he's ripped on top of that, he's probably on roids. <laughs> and if he spends all his time in the gym, most likely he's not spending his time uh, on the mats or in a ring or, you know, like uh, working pads or whatever. Like he's not training martial arts. So I wouldn't be too worried about a guy like that because um, I know that he probably can't fight. And even if he can, he has uh, limited, his skill set isn't going to be all that good because he doesn't spend that much time like, uh, you know, doing martial arts, his mobility, his this, his that. And I think that is cardio too, because also if you have a really big chest, I mean, muscles consume a lot of energy, uh, a lot of resources, a lot of oxygen. So the more you want a lot of muscles, but you want them in the right place. And then you have to have the cardiovascular system to back that, back that up. And you also have to learn how to breathe while you're, you're, uh, you're doing your martial arts. So you don't just gas out. You have to know how to pace yourself essentially. But um, yeah, but having a huge chest, it, it kind of, it's kind of useless, you know? So I think that the way you have to go up, go, go for what you have to go for is you definitely want strong, big, strong legs, right? Well, well, as big as your genetics will allow, but you don't have to spend all your time in the gym. Like that's, there's a point where uh, of diminishing return. So you want to have big, strong legs. You want to have big, strong back. You want to have big, strong, well, a very strong core, um, shoulders, very strong shoulders, very strong, uh, stable neck and solid grip, right? 
That's really all you need. And just by, if you focus on those things, you'll be better off. And at the same time, it's not to say that you're not going to, you're going to have a small chest. You're still going to have a decent chest, like depending on your genetics and all that. It's just that it won't be huge and it won't be cumbersome. It won't get in the way of your, of your ability to, to punch, to kick, to move and all that. And so, yeah, that's it for this video, man. Not too much to say there, but I just thought about that the other day and it just, uh, I just felt like making a video about it. So if you see a guy with a huge chest, chances are there are exceptions, guys. There's a lot of guys out there who have huge chests who can fight, but for the most part, their technique might not be as as crisp as good. Anyways, but for the most part, yeah, you, they're you know they're they're <laughs> you, you can they're not they're not good fighters. And uh, a, a little another little side note is that if you if you want to beat a bodybuilder, you just like you know, wait for him uh, after he comes out of leg day. <laughs> okay, guys. So let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, by the way, share it so that it could grow the community. It uh, helps me out a lot. Really appreciate it. And let me know what you guys think. Do you guys uh, have that same experience where when you have like uh, when you used to have a big chest, it was bothersome, and now it doesn't? Oh, before I forget. Posture issues. So if your chest is too big, it means that your front delts are going to be very tight. Okay. And then that's going to bring your posture rounded off like that. And that's going to cause po posture issues and it's going to cause uh, shoulder issues as well. So that's, uh, that's it. So let me know what you guys think. Do you guys train your chest uh, a lot? Uh, does it currently impede in your mobility? Okay. And your ability to, you know, to move and to throw punches and to, to block it all. And if for those of you guys who stopped, you know, like how has that uh, benefit you from not, you know, doing bench press four times a week? <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.